All right, so this is not the most elegant solution for getting our comments. In fact, we should be able to still do it like we saw when we directly associated the instance to the comments. And that's actually what I wanna do is, is change the way this all works so it's a little bit more dynamic and you don't have to type so much. Like this is a lot of typing for what's going on here. So there's a few different ways on how I'm gonna do this, but the first way is by making a custom model manager. So model managers are what we see here. So filter in this, that is a type of model manager. It, it's filtering the model objects, so everything that's in the database based off of these two fields. And of course, if you had different fields, you can filter based off of those fields. So we wanna build our own like this, but I'm gonna do it filtering it by a instance. So the instance that the comment will be related to. So basically it's gonna handle all this stuff for us and return back a query set. So jumping into our models, so models.py, we're gonna come in here and do class comment manager, and it's gonna be models.manager. And we're gonna define a new function here, say filter by instance and it's gonna take self and instance as an argument. And we wanna do the same thing we did in the view as we'll do in the instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these and going back into my model, I'm gonna bring it in here. And what we've got here is now the content type by post. We've already have post actually um, imported. We also have content type already imported. And then object ID is gonna go off of the instance, so instance ID. So it's virtually the exact same, except now I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of most of this stuff. And instead I'm gonna use query set or QS equals to super comment manager. I'll explain what's going on here in a second. And then self and then dot filter, and then just replace that original filter with what we had. And then now I'm just gonna return QS. So what's happening here is it's getting the super class that's related to this instance. So in other words, it's saying comment.objects. Um, that is what this is replacing right here. And the way to make sure that that works is by coming down here and right above Unicode, we are gonna add in objects equals to comment manager. Now comment managers can override other kinds of query sets too, like define all we can override those as well if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna get into that here. Instead, we're gonna be using this filter by instance. And this is exactly the way it's gonna work um, for us inside of our view. It's the exact same way. So back into our view, I can now get rid of a bunch of stuff. I can get rid of these two things. In fact, I can get rid of that import of content type. I don't think I need it anywhere else. Uh, if I double click on it and scroll down, I don't actually see it anywhere. So I can go ahead and delete that. And now our comments will be filter by instance. And we just pass in our instance here now. And boom, just like that. And that will now give us the comments that are based off of a model instance. But let's actually make sure that we're doing this right by looking at our models and go line by line again. So we've got our instance, which is this. Um, but we have this post model. Now this isn't actually great because it's going off of the post model so that assumes that it's a post, but that's not necessarily the case, right? The instance could be something different as we've seen with generic forward keys. So instead of post here, I'm gonna do instance dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore. So there are two underscores on both sides, one, two, and then class and all that. So class, this is a way to get the Python class, which that class is gonna be related to the model because again, it is an instance. It has to be an instance. Um, and you could check, you could run checks and stuff like that in here, but we're gonna assume that this instance is an instance. So this is gonna do the exact same thing as if we wrote post here from that post model. So that also means that I don't actually need this post model in here at all. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it completely from this app because we don't wanna have any errors whatsoever going forward. Now, what we did here can be also done um, on any other place that you would need to do this in particular, but using it in the model manager allows us to just go off of the model and get the comments by some sort of instance. So this is actually not a whole lot different than if we did filter and if we still had post and we did something like that. So if post was still a foreign key model, that's essentially how we would do it. And we just wanted to add it in just like this. So that's one way on how we can actually grab that instance. 
So if we go back into our project here, we see those comments are still coming through. But there is one more thing that I still want to add and I don't actually want this comments to be coming in the view anymore. I want to do it in the template like we saw before. We don't actually have to do it this way, but I'm just showing you other ways that you can do things. And that is if we jump in to models.py for posts, we're gonna now import the comment model in here. So from comments.models, import comment. And now we're gonna add a property, and I'll explain this in a second. So at, at property, we're gonna add this property to our actual class here. So we'll define comments and we'll do self and it's gonna be comment.objects.filter by instance and it's gonna take self. So instance is equal to self. So that's the object instance of the post. And then we'll say query set equals to that and we'll return that query set. Um, so what's happening here is we can now use this as a property of the actual instance itself. So properties are like get markdown is not necessarily a property, it's a method, but it's being ran. So let's do instance and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And right underneath that, I'm just gonna do instance.comments.all. And if I save that, I refresh in here, I'm now getting those comments coming through. And if it wasn't a property, let's say if, we, let's get rid of that property method here. Save that and go back in, it's still gonna run. But the property method allows us to do on our views, so back to our views of post detail, we can get rid of that again and do post dot, uh, dot excuse me, not post, but instance dot comments. And we refresh in here and that still brings us back those comments. So that's a property. If, it, if I didn't want it to be a property, I can come back into our post and get rid of property here if we save that and refresh in here, um, we would come back into our view and actually run the comments method there and that would actually show us those comments. But I like it as a property itself. So back into um, the model. This is just a convenience method to allow us to grab the, com uh, the comments themselves. Um, so several different ways on how we can actually grab these comments. But again, I'm gonna leave that, that um, it, just like we did here but I did want to show you a way on how we could actually get the comments themselves, whether it's by the query set or by an instance method like we created here, which is actually how I'm going to save it as. I'm going to save it as this instance method um, so we can get those comments directly. And another important thing about why we got rid of that import of posts, because if I did imp from posts.models import post here, if I left it in here and refreshed, uh, let's refresh the server and it says cannot import name comment. So we're doing a dual import. We're importing um, post from the post models and then we're importing comment from the comment models. So you can't do that two way import like that. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it for generic foreign keys. We now have a way to grab the comments wherever we are and we can actually display them in a really good way. Um, the next thing that I wanna do just real quick before we finish is changing the comment format into block quotes. So if you go on Git Bootstrap, we have this block quotes right here, and I'm actually gonna use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and comment or copy this HTML, go into our detail, and we're just gonna change our comment loop here. And I'm gonna put an HR line underneath that and just put our comment inside of this block post, block post paragraph as well as the author inside of the footer inside the blog post. And then we're gonna get rid of all that old stuff. And then finally, I'm going to add an HR line again, right after that comment. So we go back in here, refresh, and there now our comments look even better. It's just, just nice and clean as far as the comments are concerned. So if you have any questions on what we did here, we definitely did a lot. We did model managers, we did a instance method, and then we cleaned up just generally how all this stuff works in our views. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.